pretty good these. Can you hear that? Well, first off, I'm back. It's the same day. It's 10.45 in the evening. Oh, I'm back here. Crazy storm going on. So. There'll be a lot of that going on. Couple hit real close. It was almost sketchy getting out of the car to open the gate, I'll be honest with you. We'll also get some hail. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be good. I guess I'm just gonna continue. It's uh, pretty crusty underneath the car. This is gonna be kind of distracting, so I'll just kind of do what I can. Woo, 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 you know? Give you guys a little tour of all the hidden surfaces that were between this piece that we took off. You can up on here, look at that. Huh. Day. Don't really feel like doing much today. Just took this out. Woo, woo, GTR restoration. You know? Let's do it. This is coming out pretty good. Almost have it fully welded up, so it just had to do the sides and then trim the uh, extra length off. Coming over to the actual side of the car, it is pretty crusty, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up now, and, and then overnight, probably hit it with the uh, rust treatment spray, just that way it's all cured and no need to worry about it. But yeah, you guys can see just how bad it is there. You know? I mean, look. Look at the trail. Follow the trail drained from there which is rotted out runs drains down there and then collected there is my only assumption all right all right cleaned up good looking good down there and check this out this came out sweet you can't even tell dude <laughs> Right to yeah, man, this is what we had. This is what we had there. Approach to there and uh, yeah, well, so that's good. No more rust, man. Rust is to a damn minimal. You know what I mean? Rust is to a minimal. Just been tacking this thing in, just kind of moving around, uh, moving around, kind of keep the heat out of it. Got all my spot wells lined up exactly where they were. So that's really sweet, and as you guys can see up in here, it just fits up and it looks brand new. Love that. No more rust peeking through. Although the copper spray almost has that look of rust. Thankfully it's not. I'm gonna go ahead and toss a few of my spot welds down here. Get this thing in place and uh, just, yeah, keep on moving on, man. I'm actually, I ran out of my sanding discs. These Rolox, I'm out of them. So, probably gonna do the welding and then have to clean it up later, but it's coming along well. Coming along well. Guys, whoa. Huge shout out to my guy over Josh. God, I'm awful with names. Josh, I think over at Inspire. Josh over at Inspire Coatings actually ab absolutely killed it, first of all. Got all this stuff out or sandblasted for me. So, as you guys remember. Lincoln, buddy, what is it? Link needs some attention. Tried to pay the guy, didn't accept any payment. Pickup and delivery service. I'm not saying he's gonna go pick up and deliver your parts personally, but he was very generous to me. Um, go ahead and follow him on Instagram. I have all the information on on the screen. If you guys are in the local San Antonio, Texas area, hit him up if you guys need any powder coating, detailing, sandblasting. Absolutely killed it. Things look brand new. Absolutely brand new. Everything in and out. Just just really good, honestly. Look at this piece. Look at how well this turned out. 
My subframe stud, absolutely beautiful in and out. And then I think the most impressive piece, because this was just completely rusted out. You guys remember, this is the inner frame rail structure beam thing. Dude, absolutely awesome, brand new. Again, appreciate you, Josh. I really hope I'm not messing your name up. I'm really awful with names and remembering people's names. Oh yeah, wow, awesome. I really hope, uh, hope I can help you out with some business, man. Um, he too just started up his business, him and some buddies. So um, yeah, if we can help him out, that's awesome. Another thing I like to do before uh, applying my rust spray is just hit it with a torch because you can kind of see all the moisture already built up in this metal. And look at that, it's just, you know. So we'll get rid of that. And uh, at that point, I'm, I'm happy to put my spray on, but you can just see all that moisture just evaporating away. I, uh, I, so I was just walk in the shop, quarter panels toppled over. I honestly don't, and there's so many things on the ground, man. I just, I, so now there's multiple dents in it. Just like, it seems like every single day, man. It's just, it's just, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to clean up the floor. I'll show you guys what I'm working. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just. Check it out. This is what we're talking about. You can't even really tell But yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of how it turned out and absolutely I mean you can't feel ah It's so good like there is no change in height or angle. It's Man when things come out good man, it, it, it is really satisfying It is it is really satisfying to do things the right way and take your time and Even though it does take quite a long time piece by piece and of course look at this random look at this random rock spot this is where the, the gas cap, or the gas, uh, you know, the little cover for the fuel pump and stuff like that goes in the back here. How does this rust out, man? Come on. An easy way to kind of see where your holes are at. Grab yourself a light, put it behind your panel, and maybe you guys can see, maybe you can't tell at all, but it highlights all the gaps, so easy way to show. Okay, many hours probably have gone by. This is looking good. We're good up here, we're done. Now, dilemma. Big dilemma. Um, this is this is. I knew I knew this was gonna be. I knew this is where I'd find myself. Situations just like this. Let me take these freaking off. I knew it. I just knew it. So, all right. I was getting ready. You know, we're gonna prep, prep a frame rail to get back in place. And uh, I'm just looking up in this corner. What do we see? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and dude, I just, I can't, man. I can't leave it, I can't, mm-mm. And, and, jeez. Oh, the frame rail slides up in between these two sheets of metal, slides right in between them, like a little sandwich, like a, like, like a sandwich. Yeah, I mean, there's a good amount of rust there. And then even continuing along, I'm sorry, the filming is, it's very hard to film under here. I just, Oh man, I knew it. I knew this was gonna happen. Things like this. Things where I should just leave it, skip it. But no, I can't, I cannot. I just scraped off all that seam sealer. You can see a huge pile right there out of this corner in here. And um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Rust is to a minimal. And it's such a crappy spot to work, I mean, Look at this, this is the inside, the back seat area, and like, how am I, uh, <laughs> all right. I know you're probably seeing me work on this thing and you're like, just finish it already. But dude, I just, I can't leave it alone. I can't leave anything alone. I can't leave that rust there. I just, I mean, what, what do I do? Do I leave that there? Like, no, I can't. That's, and it's, it's just, uh, it makes, it doesn't matter, does it? I don't know, maybe it does. dirt bike riding tomorrow. I don't want to come into the shop at all. 
All right. Oh, yeah, this is this is it. Also, the flange on the inside was pretty rusty, so that makes it all worth it, then, right? Let's take a look at the inside of the car here. That's it. I'm sure someone sees my efforts out there. Maybe they're not going to waste. <laughs> It's rust free now. That's that's excellent. Absolutely excellent. And if we come over to the car What's even more excellent is what we've got here to behold. Look at this. Look at the lack the lack of rust up in here is just truly satisfying. Does look good though Does look good Obviously we got all the, the, the parts sandblasted That was awesome And if you recall we chopped the frame rail in half. So that's, that, would, that wouldn't really be ideal uh, if we were to reinstall. And clearly I didn't get these sandblasted for a reason. So this is scrap. Let's just, we all knew that. In its place, we have this thing. Brand new, okay? Brand new from Nissan. Look at how old this sticker is on there, by the way. There's another piece that I have to show you guys, but right now we're just posing. This is from Stacked. Uh, Stacked sourced these for uh, for me, and I, I honestly couldn't be more pleased because, first off, the other piece that they sourced is even larger, and it's just gonna make my life 10 times easier even than this piece, which this piece already is making my life easier. That frame rail is just, I mean, it's in awful shape. This is brand new. I don't know how long this was on the shelves. It's full of dust. I don't think you can get these anymore. I'm pretty sure this was the last one. Obviously it came from Japan, stacked exports. Uh, if you guys need any parts imported, hit them up, tell them I sent you. Cars as well, and they store cars if you guys need help with storage. That's incredible. So I'm kind of prepping this inner skeleton uh, piece to be uh, spot welded back in there. So that's in the works. Now this, this is serious. Okay, this piece is serious, okay? Check this, this is the entire passenger side, the entire left side rail. Got the tow hook on here. I mean, we have everything. Inner shell is all in there, welded on already. The upper bracket for the crash support bar, everything. Incredible, brand new. Also, Nissan Partner, look at that sticker, super old. Also, I believe this is the last one like available. That's gonna make the other side so easy. All I'm gonna have to do is just remove it, slap this one on. I don't have to worry about sandblasting, removing. It's just gonna make it so much easier. So, stacked. Thank you guys. I I, I thank you so much because I, I I I've had these for a long time and I do apologize for the lack of I guess content on them or even posting about them. So I've uh, just been it's been a it's been a wild it's been a wild ride for me recently so let's uh sorry for the spiel but just wanted to share all that with you i'm pretty excited about it marie we've had to modify the pedal to suit our needs but now we can get bolted on excellent accelerator brake and clutch pedal now installed and contrary to report of jackson fiber to our chief ackerman correspondent nick blackness what does it all mean well i think at least it means a lot of time on my knees getting tape off the floor and for the car it means it'll work or at least the entire steering range that means the inner wheel, 90 degrees of steering wheel input, we've got a center line turn radius in front of them, like on the steering. Well, that's it for steering. If you guys saw, we got the frame rail kind of put together. Um, I just actually went ahead and tossed some epoxy primer on the inside, so it's all just cured, it's all just protected. Also gonna be doing like a, um, a cavi wax spray as well, and the frame rails and all that stuff, all said and done. But for now, obviously the epoxy primer is, um, is awesome. So that's gonna be really good for corrosion resistance and stuff like that. that. That frame rail should last forever. Speaking of that frame rail, I've actually slapped it on the car, not completely, but I've just test fit it. So I just wanna show you guys kind of what we're working with here. It's looking absolutely incredible. So you guys can see, maybe you obviously can't see anything from here. Yeah, it's, it's in place. It's absolutely lining up, absolutely sweet. And let me, let me get a light. But yeah, you guys can see, it's looking it's looking so good under here. I mean, compared to what it was, I mean, this rail obviously being brand new and the floor now cleaned up, it's it's looking so good. So yeah, you can see it's just it's just fitting up real good, and uh, really happy, really really happy with this. Still a lot of work to do to to finish it off, but uh, yeah, 
all the plug welds and the inside came out awesome. You can see on the outside, all the penetration marks. So we're good there. Very happy with that. And uh, yeah, structurally, I'm not worried at all. This is exactly good. Car was set up square and it should be square. We'll obviously check, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it, should be, it should be brand new. Good as new. So before you guys leave the video, I have one thing to say. I finally caved in and I made myself a GoFundMe. I did it, I finally did it. I know you guys asked me, have been asking me to do it. I did it. So if you guys are inclined to go ahead and help me out with my goal, I have a $7,500 goal. I think, that's, I think that's realistic. Maybe not, I don't know. I guess we'll kind of see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for those that are interested, it uh, would really help me out because um, yeah, I have a serious move ahead and it, it, it kind of was unexpected. I didn't really plan for this to happen the way I did, but I really have to make the move happen now. I cannot wait another year. I cannot waste any more time. So uh, as far as tools, shop rent, equipment, fees, everything, moving stuff. So I appreciate the guy. So I appreciate the support, I really do. And um, thanks for watching as always. And if you guys have not seen the kind of couple of videos before this, to kind of get yourself caught up with the whole situation, I highly would recommend it. It's very hot out here right now. It's about two in the morning. It's about 2 a.m. Sunday, classic, typical. But that's going to be it for this week's video. I will see you guys all next week. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care.